Dante Bridges. I'm the first African American male valedictorian in Booker T. Washington High School in Atlanta, Georgia. The first black male valedictorian in over 10 years. Very same high school that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. himself attended. Um, I'm the youngest of my siblings. Very proud uncle. Just someone trying to make a difference. For the most part, you know, I've always been committed to my education ever since uh, preschool. Been on a lot of hard work and time throughout the years and set myself up to be very successful. And right now, I mean, it's been very old well. Um, the hard work has paid off. Um, I started off at F.L. Stanton Elementary School, Cleveland Avenue Elementary School, Silver Hills Middle School, and I finished at Booker T. Washington High School. I plan to continue my studies at the University of Georgia. Like I said, the hard work is paid off. My biggest inspiration was my family. Um, you know, I just want to make everyone proud. You know, it's not even about me. Um, you know, that was my inspiration. I wanted to do it for not only myself, but for everyone else who, who wasn't able to do it. I'll be the first one in my family to attend college. And for the most part, I really wanted to just set an example for my nieces and my nephews. Show them that you know anything is possible, and I'm gonna live an example. So my family, my main inspiration, my motivation to keep going. Well, Booker, Mr. Booker T. Washington you could say that in the belt, you know, success is you know based more on the obstacles you had to overcome, or the, and you're not gonna relate relate to what he said. So many people tell me that I'm successful. And, you know, I don't argue with that, but at the same time, I feel like there's more work to be done. To be honest with you, I never was comfortable sharing, like, the details of my life. Uh, you know, some of them are very personal, you know, I like to keep myself. For the main reason, I didn't want anyone to feel sorry for me. Uh, you know, my graduation speech, I really opened up to everyone, let everyone into my life. Um, you know, uh, I say, a month before graduation, three weeks before graduation, they pulled Sheroy and I, um, salute the tour. They pulled us to the side. Um, they pretty much told us it was time for us to write our speech well. And they had a theme for graduation. So we started to write our speech, and they tweaked it so it could fit the theme of graduation and gave us ideas. I had my academic coach, Mr. Charles Allen, he helped. And um, my teacher, Mrs. Anita Dancing, Mrs. Wynn, Mrs. Jackson. They all helped, you know, pretty much put my thoughts together. I knew what I wanted to say, and how to say it, but, you know, just trying to put it all together, you know, they helped me uh, practice and rehearse with them, and I just let it all out. <laughs> no, I did not, um, I mean, we had graduation, you know, very high moment in my life, we all celebrated, and things pretty much died down. I say two, two or three weeks after graduation, APS, my school system, they uh, they uploaded a video onto YouTube, and I had like 200 views, and I thought that was, like I said, I thought that was a big deal, uh, like man, 200 views, and now, near 90,000 views, and so many people across the country have told me how they've been inspired, and it's so surreal right now, like, <laughs> So when people just and tell me that I touched their lives, I changed their life around, I mean, I know so I see any of this kind of It's so surreal. This is really just the beginning. Uh, I plan to be, be very involved in the community, just trying to reach back and help others. And I feel like five years from now, I'll be helping individuals all across the globe. I've already started, so just continue to build upon that. That's all I really want to do, just help make a difference. And make this world a better place. I mean, I know it seems so cliche, but that's really what I want to do. I would have to say, you know, graduating, overcoming all the adversity in my life, and just still be here. And to graduate, make history, I'm very proud of myself. So, I would have to say just graduating, 
as the first African American male valedictorian in my high school, man. It's an honor because this is the very same high school that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. attended. So I'm following in his footsteps, just trying to make a difference. And hopefully, I'll be remembered the same way he's remembered. So. She was here to witness all of this, but I understand, you know, he's in a better place, looking down on him. And, man, I get emotional thinking about it because, you know, you hear it all the time about people losing love ones, but to lose someone at such a young age, man, like, that was my brother, man. And we were so close. And, you know, I looked up to him, Maurice, you know. My mother tells me all the time that she sees so much of him in me. You know, I really just want to make him proud. And uh, that's about it. And on you know, May 17, 2008, uh, I was robbed at gunpoint while on my way home. And, uh, you know, that, that was crazy because I was very paranoid. I was scared. I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't know, at the time, I didn't know what was going to happen. I mean, I really thought I was about to lose my life on that day. And, you know, just still be here. You know, my mother was diagnosed with leukemia, just trying to be here for her. And back when I was 13, seventh grade, you know, they told her that the um, life expectancy was five years. So you know, I was in the seventh grade and I'm so grade, five years, and she was at a witness all of it. So, you know what I mean? It's so much, I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, other people may not know it, but graduating with all the success and celebrating. Four days after my graduation, my grandfather passed away. So I mean, I feel like I'm prepared for whatever life has to throw at because I've been through so much over so these past, I mean, throughout my life, and I'm ready for whatever. I like to say just keep your eyes on the prize. Um, stay encouraged. I mean, you never know what life will throw at you. You just have to be prepared. And like I said, just keep your eyes on the prize. Stay focused. Stay determined. Don't never throw, do not throw in the towel, never throw in the towel. Just keep your eyes on the prize, you know, stay patient, remain humble, and you know, everything else will fall into place, so. I was an MVP, but at least on the athletic trophy I have. When people come over, they, when they see so many trophies, they automatically assume it's probably for athletics or something, but, oh, uh, academics. <laughs> 